Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video Slick Talk trolls Casper in your vest and pretty ugly. So Slick Talk has weighed in on the celebrity boxing match between Casper in your vest and pretty ugly. Now the match was nothing short of an embarrassment that was actually quite short and talking about short both Casper in your vest and pretty the ugly are quite short themselves but that has nothing to do with the story but yeah the fight itself i will say was pretty ugly for pretty ugly but of course leading up to the fight all eyes were focused on the anticipated celebrity boxing match between pretty ugly and casper in your vest it took place at the sunbet arena at, at times square casino in pretoria pretty ugly lost the match via ko within a few minutes in the first round now a lot of people have made their opinions known about the particular match including Slick Talk. Now taking to his YouTube channel a few hours after the fight Slick Talk bashed Casper in your vest and Pretty Ugly taking aim at their music above everything else. He said that people barely listen to the artists so it makes sense that nobody would watch the match. Now for those that did watch the match they will say that the build up actual fights were not really it wasn't all that packed but when the actual main event the Casper in your vest and pretty ugly fight was about to get underway it was it was pretty packed. And also do keep in mind it was playing on ESPN so you could have also watched it on TV. But yeah, this is what Slick Talk had to say about the fight. He said that was pathetic. This was the battle of the trash music between Casper and Pretty Ugly. Pretty, your boxing skills are as bad as your music. You can't even make it past the first round. Bro, you got knocked down after the first punch. He put you down on your ass. You got destroyed in front of your wife. I will say that one ish. I'm sure that one struck a nerve. They got destroyed in front of his wife. And in yesterday's video, we did talk about how Buntle was being trolled on social media but i will say this i definitely do agree with one thing that slick talk had to say the fight was a little underwhelming one punch i mean pretty ugly was already you know backtracking on the ground personally i was a little bit disappointed now, of course, Slick Talk continued making more verbal attacks on both rappers. He bragged about lasting longer in the ring in his battle with Casper in your vest. Now, Slick Talk was the first opponent in December of 2021 where he lost, but he got, uh, according to the reports, 100,000 rands from Casper in your vest and his team. Now, Slick Talk said the following about that. Bro thought he could do better. I went past the first round and I was about to go through the second round until the referee stopped me. I wanted a third round i went through it like a man and i never got put down i ate those punches ch <laughs> chilling this was embarrassing take the l pretty ugly now do get in the comment section down below and let me know which fight did you guys think was better was it uh casper in your vest versus slick talk or was it casper in your vest versus pretty ugly with the casper in your vest versus slick talk for me it was like a hugging fist <laughs> slick talk all he did was hug casper in your vest i don't think he actually threw in one single punch but like he said you know he ate the punches and he wasn't put down he wanted to go through to the third round but the fight was called off in the second round and when it comes to pretty ugly's fight with casper well definitely wasn't as long as slick talk and casper it was very short and uh, yeah a lot of people who watched it said that it felt like they were watching a highlight reel but it was the actual fight itself it lasted way less than two minutes it seems now, apart from that, Slick Talk did say something that was quite interesting to me. He said that his uh, fight with Casper in your vest, the rounds were three minutes. And when it comes to Pretty Ugly and Casper, the rounds were supposed to be two minutes. I don't know why the discrepancy, why the difference in times for each round someone if you know a little bit about boxing do let me know in the in the comment section down below but without actually knowing the actual reason for me it seems like you know what they were making it a lot harder for slick talk and a lot easier for pretty ugly and even so with that actual time reduction it does seem that pretty ugly couldn't even make it to the second round and also my last takeaway from uh, slick talks video i will say this i enjoyed the outro let me play the outro from slick talks video <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
our next topic, Babes Odumo exposes Mampincha. Now, in the latest episode of Utando Lodumo, Babes Odumo and Mampincha went to a pastor to help them with their marital problems. Now, their problems even include family as Mampincha's mother, Zama Kumete, is not really a fan of her daughter-in-law, Babes. Now, exposing her husband as a liar, Babes revealed that the reason why they went to the pastor is because of all the problems caused by Mampincha. This is what Babes had to say we called Pastor Dube to have a sit down with us and discuss all the problems caused by my husband. Now speaking to himself, Mampincha revealed that they did try to resolve things with his mother. Uh, this is what he said. Things are going very well because we are able to be on the same page afterwards. Remember, our families had a little feud. We ended up calling up Ma. Now, Babes Otuma opened up that marriage changed Mampincha and being a father as well. This is what she said. We are doing good as a married couple. Sponge came along and a lot changed since then. Mandla also stays home now. He doesn't go out as often as he used to. Like this morning, he woke up in a foul mood, which was confusing. We tried to make conversation. He would brush me off. I could see that he was not in the mood. Now, in response to this particular claim from Babes, Mampincha said that he is stressed out by business this is what he said i go quiet because i'm stressed about business what's worse is that i had such a bad dream i even told her about it well, it seems like Babes Otuma does not believe Mampincha as she has called him a liar. He said this is exactly how he is. Mampincha is a liar. Now, I'm sure by now we all know and remember that Babes and her husband are always trending for what seems like the wrong reasons. Babes recently got trolled by people who said that she is sick, but she and Mampincha put the trolls in the place. Now, in response to those trolling comments to this particular picture, Babes Oduma is quoted as saying the following, I lost weight during my pregnancy and after birth, I lost more weight. It hurts to see women making fun of how I look. Is it because I am a celebrity or because I am a young woman who is finding her feet in motherhood? I'm enjoying motherhood and I don't know what they want from me. Others are quick to judge saying I am sick, I need help and I'm taking drugs. Just because I had a baby and my body is still recovering. I'm not stressing about my weight loss because some of my friends and my sister went through the same thing. Now, when it comes to Babes Otumo's weight, it does seem that her and Mampincha were on the same page as he also lashed out at the haters. This is what Mampincha is quoted as saying. It hurts so bad because the people who swear at us are people we do not know. No rich person goes around swearing at other rich people. <laughs> it's always those who are hungry that are jealous and practice witchcraft. Whereas they should be using that energy to ask for jobs and I would hire them so they can get money, get Laid and stop being angry. I kid you not folks, this is apparently a direct quote. Moving right along, it goes on to read, but they rather spew bow, listen here, leave us alone or I will gladly return you all back to your mother's womb, one by one. Our names are not for your entertainment. You guys are very hungry. I'm sorry to my fans. I'm very tired of these haters that don't bath. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, Mampincha was pissed. But then again, how can we take Mampincha seriously? Because according to Babes, Mampincha is a liar. Maybe he was lying about all of that stuff that he said over there. Our next topic, former rap group member Sizwe Mpofu Welsh talks about how fame changed AKA. Social activist and former rapper Dr. Sizwen Pofu Wells has spoken about the old days when he used to be a part of the rap group called Entity. Now, the group that was started in high school was made up of Vice Versa, aka and Greyhound. Now, in an interview on a podcast, Sizwe revealed how the group split up. He said the following, that was one of the first important friend groups that I had and I'm still really good friends with Ntlantla Greyhound. Even though most people know AKA for good reason, because he is super famous, it's actually fascinating to watch how the different lives that we were within that group have actually moved in different directions. I think fame does something to people. The more famous he became, the more detached he became from the original group of friends. Now, the group entity only released one album titled Royal School of Hip Hop in 2005. Personally, I do recall a song, I think from the album Touch and Go. Definitely enjoyed that particular song. 
But yeah, after being a member of the hip hop group entity, aka ventured into his solo career in 2009, he released his lead single, I Want It All, from his studio album, Alter Ego, in 2010. Fast forward to now, aka has a new song out which features Nasty C. So yeah, according to Vice Versa, aka, well, he's changed due to the fame that he has gotten over the years. Which kind of made me curious that perhaps in an alternate universe or world out there, aka didn't do his solo thing, he continued with Entity, and I wonder how far entity is currently you know in that particular universe so in essence i mean do get in the comment section down below and let me know do you think it was a good idea for aka to venture into his solo career and let that take off or do you think he should have you know in an alternate universe type of scenario stayed with the group and pushed that as far as they could but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.